Assalamualaikum and a very pleasant morning. My name is Diane Kuhn and Aziha Badrina, and I will be your MC for today. To bless our event, I would like to invite Khalif to lead the prayer. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah maafkan alayna, hikmataka wa insyur alayna, min khaza ini rahmatka ya arahman rahimin. Rabbi sahana, sudurana, wa islana, umurana, wa nuntam, misalna, ya bukalana. Thank you, Khalif. First and foremost, I would like to thank my dearest batchmates for making time to attend today's very special talk just for Invixis. Now, aren't everyone curious about our guest of the day? All right, together with us in this Zoom is actually our very own batch mentor. Allow me to introduce Dr. Mazina Muhammad Said. A little bit about Dr. She is the Kaiser of the Batch Arcadians from the year of 1996 until 2000. Interestingly, Arcadians, which only consists of 56 students, is the second full batch that resided in College Yasan Saat Malacca. Currently, she is working as a senior lecturer at Faculty Pharmacy in UKM. Pharmaceutical analysis as well as drugs manufacturing and industry is her specialty. Well, enough with the magnificent introduction of Dr. Mazina. I shall welcome the owner of the name herself to give a talk about being a student in this challenging time. Feel free to ask questions along the way. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Naziha. Thank you so much for your kind introductory. Well, you said that enough with the spectacular introduction, something like that. Well, there's nothing spectacular about it. <laughs> All right. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so good to see you guys here. See, see new faces. Ada yang tak ada faces. Okay, hope you guys are around. So, um, my name is Mazlina. So, as, 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 as uh, mentioned by Naziha. Uh, yesterday, Shafiq uh, was asking me what's the title of my talk. So um, I was thinking that, to be honest, until yesterday, I did not have any specific title. So it was supposed to be uh, like a mentor mentee session. So uh, I just uh, let him know that should we talk, call it a coffee talk with Dr. Mas? So you guys familiar with the term coffee talk? So coffee talk is basically borak-borak also. So hopefully it's not that empty. We could we have some things inside all right so i am not i don't have intention to give you lecture i do not even have a proper slides i have i think about seven slides today which is three of them are photos so you have another another four which are other sedikit detail just to pass over to you guys okay uh, uh, the brief introductory of uh, how this started so i received a call from uh, my favorite teacher mr rama so said so when one day he called me and said it must uh, can we just be a mentor for these form five sets of form five just to tell them uh, just just to, to 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 motivate them or something i don't think you guys need motivation do you need so with all the 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 extreme high esteem stories that i've heard from mr Amazo, so he was telling me this batch is so dedicated so so expert in so many things the presentations that you guys did was excellent yes i have met few of you in the, in the earlier sessions with the batch representative and, and yes, of course, he's right. So, so your batch, best lah. So I'm here, just perhaps, and, and one more task was given, okay, given by Azreen. Said that she said that something, uh, give some motivational talk or something not so cliche because we have heard so many things about that. Dang, what am I supposed to say about that? Can something that's not cliche, so you wouldn't want to hear my story. That, 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 that's so boring. So hopefully here, if you have any questions, okay, this should be like burak burak kosong again. You are free to ask any questions, and I'll try to answer based on my perspective, previous experience, my last twenty years experience as a teenager. Okay, so uh, so so just prompt up your questions. Shoot wherever you need. To ask questions so this is like the other other platform so when mr rama called me i was wondering what is he did not really mention he did not really specify what is the uh, the least 
what is the task of a mentor. So basically, I'm here be on voluntary basis. So I hope to share anything that something with you, anything that you have curi. I mean, the other side, I'm not part of the school. I'm not part of teachers. I'm not part of the parents. Okay, I'm definitely uh, here perhaps as a sister. So if you have something that you feel that difficult for you to, to, to ask somewhere else or you looking for a different answer, perhaps you can give me a try. Okay, um, what else? I'm here, so, so we'll see. So we'll see. So if it's, there's a need for me to be here, then uh, you guys can reach me at any time for specific group of people or for individual who you feel that oh, you need to uh, get a little bit more information, feel free to get my number from Shafiq or the rest of the uh, leaders so that we can communicate more. So basically, I am happy to be part of the soft pillow in supporting you guys in your journey. Hopefully, lah. that's the intention. So disclaimer, not part of the school. So if you want to speak back about the school, boleh juga, okay? All right, and I truly hope that we can correspond. Okay, relax lah, relax, relax, relax. Do you have your coffee with you? So I'm, I'm not sure whether from far I drank coffee ke tak. But in the, immediately after I went into uni, definitely coffee. And now it's like IV drip coffee because we have to work 24-7. So I have to have IV drip coffee with me. Okay, so if there's no coffee, perhaps some Milo, Nestum, Meslo, whatever it is lah. Okay, so a little bit about me. Uh, I'm from batch uh, 9600. We are the Arcadians. So Arcadians are in this, uh, I, mean, I Google up Arcadians, I've completely forgotten what is it. So it's basically it's innocent, simple, and untroubled. Yes, that's what we are. We are innocent, simple, so high invictus. So who 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 has came up with the term invictus? Who own invictus? Someone the, come up with the invictus. The past high committee. Which one? Oh, oh, I mean the past high committee? Is it your uh, batch lah? Yeah. The, so so who, who there must be one right person who named Invictus. Who want to claim it? I think we'll all claim it good. You all, all claim it. Together, yes. Alright, so, so what does Invictus mean? What does Invictus mean? Oh, nama gah, dia tanya tak tahu. Ha, ha. What does Invictus mean? It means unity in diversity. Unity in diversity, was it something that I googled up just now? Uh, university, yeah, but yeah, you guys googled up. Does it mean university? Uni, 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 uni. Unity in diversity. Unity in diversity, all right. So, so I think I googled up something different just now, but I couldn't remember what is it, but yeah, okay. So that's why you guys and we are the, the, the simple, innocent, that's what we are. Until today, we are the simple, the laid back one. All right, okay, during our time, I'm going to start with a bit of memory. Okay, there's no slides, so feel free to jump in if you have anything to ask. So, a uh, little bit background, we were the second batch, uh, truly selected through selection process because we were fully on scholarship by Yayasan Saan. Uh, there were 60 plus of us and only few, less than 10, were, were, were not on scholarship. They came in through through connections, so Tan Sri's uh, nephews, Tan Sri's friends, sons, okay? So most of us are from middle-class family. So we are middle-class family, we came from all, all over background. So we come with, uh, I mean, similar background, middle-class family lah, or maybe and lower. So our motivation is different. So we got a scholarship, so we have intention. Uh, to, 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 to appreciate the opportunity that we have to do with the new environment. So it was all new. I was so grateful because, yeah, with middle, middle class background back then, eh, 20 years ago. So I did not attend Taekwondo class. I did not go for music class because it felt a bit up again, compared to middle class back then. Uh, so right now, karate class, Taekwondo is, is I think, middle class for that. But back then, maybe it's not of our intention. The, the parents' intention, they want the students to study. But with KYS, we were exposed to these activities. All right. So I was also the head girl, head girl zero zero. Okay. Uh, so I was the head girl, the zero zero zero. It was a good experience. It was not good. It was balanced between both. Okay. Uh, with that intention, we all studied. And then study, gaining experience as you guys did. 
towards the end, I would say this is whatever I say today is based on personal perception. All right, I'm not representing anybody. I would say that I completed SPM with so and so. So I wish I've done better. So I only realized after I left that I wish I've done better. It wasn't bad, but I think I could have done better. So the bit I'm back then. So reflecting by, I think with the opportunities given with everything, all I need to do is just to study very, very hard and to get, I mean, to, to be the best. Of course, when you want to aim something, you have to aim for your best, for the best, right? So I should have put a little bit more effort to be the best, but then it's in the past. If you say that people, ah, I have no regrets. I totally, totally, I don't know what to do. I have no regrets. I totally uh, feel uh, uh, happy with the other choice that I've made. So lucky them, I'm not. Because looking back, I would say that I wish I have done a little bit more so that I could be among the top as well. So slightly more than, uh, slightly more, we don't want to be more than average. So what we are more than average, okay, fine. But perhaps we want to be among the top. Okay, so I'm letting you guys know now. You might have a point in your life that you reflect back and you regret. Okay, kalau kita tak gunakan masa dengan betul-betul lah. If you did not take this opportunity to do your extremely best because you have all the resources, you have you are at the best place. So you should have, all right? So post KYS, I regret it a bit, but I managed. Uh, I managed to get a full scholarship uh, from Petronas uh, to study at UTP. That was with my uh, pre-SPM results too, prior results. So I went to UTP a bit. I have no plan to go overseas due to some family reasons. Okay, so I went to UTP. I tried to learn physics again, uh, calculus, totally not suitable. I totally do not like it. I like UTP per se because they are similar a bit about KYS. We are free. Students are very much in freedom. Okay, uh, the lecturer students uh, relationship are a bit relaxed. Okay, but the subjects don't really interest me. I was registered with electrical engineering, but totally it's not me. Then I sent in UPU and I managed to get a place for medical pharmacy in UIA. All right, I choose to be in UIA. Betul adalah this is lain UM blah 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 blah. But I choose to attend UIA with the aim that okay, it's so close to home. I live in around Gomba, so it's very close to home. Can communicate commute every day. Blah, 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 blah. You guys know what? It happens that the the main campus is in Kuantan. Yeah, I did not do a thorough study. So so yeah, throughout the studies, bila dah nak habis uh, matrix, want to go to the main campus, alamak, main campus in Kuantan. It's no longer. So that demolish my dream of having a car and commute every day. And, okay, so uh, that's my journey. So I'm happy to be with uh, UIA. UIA have a completely different environment than TYS. So it's very Islamic, as you can see. So they have, uh, because it's very Islamic, so you could see that most of them, yeah, they're a big group of people that comes from Islamic schools. So Islamic school, Usrah groups, semua, semua, semua tu. Again, so they have a very strong group there. So it's not easy for spree, free spirit person like me to join in this particular small groups. But then we just manage. Okay, so I was traveling through metrics and when, and when I'm in Quantan, I'm totally happy with the subjects. So I should, I realized that I do not want to make the same mistakes again. I want to graduate with first degree. So it was all hard work, study in and out, in and out. By the time of fourth year, you can tell me whatever disease, I can tell you what is the drug related problem. I can see a patient, I can look at the clinical symptoms and I will be able to see what is the problem with the patient. So that's how we train in pharmacies. Okay. Uh, so I was a pharmacy, I have a pharmacy degree. And then uh, I graduated before. Few months after we, we, we finished schools in about July. So August, I get an offer. Prior to my end of my studies, I attended, uh, because I know I want to be, I don't really know I want to be in academics, to be honest. But I just go with it because I have a, a partner, okay, who's going to further studies. So I think that let's tag along. So I went for interviews and 
bulan tujuh, I complete my degrees. Bulan lapan, I got a job already. So there's no break. So that was in 2007. So uh, July, complete degree. Eight in job. Uh, August, I get married. And then September, I already in London doing my PhD. So that's the journey. A big changes towards the second quarter. Second, I mean, second half of 2007. All right. Okay. The thing is, the idea is to choose something different from others. So basically, for pharmacy students, the pathway is quite uh, fixed back then. You have to uh, graduate. You have to attach to a government hospital in order for you to get your uh, professional certifications. Okay, to be certified lah. So in order for you to do that, so what what I did is that I took another steps away from that. So I try to divert. I do not go for my compulsory uh, certification yet. I went to do my PhD. So after I came back, then only I do my professional uh, certification as a pharmacist, certified pharmacist. Okay. So 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 that a diversion. Okay, hang on, just hear on the stories, okay, things will come later. And then when I do my PhD, there's another challenge because I was fresh grad. I did not do my master's degrees. There's a lot of uh, gaps in knowledge as you guys started to do PhD. So there's a lot of hard work there. I was married then. So I had my first daughter during my first year PhD. And then I continued PhD and I graduated, completed my PhD at the age of 28 early of my 28 and they come back, work as a full time lecturer. So that's a pathway that I've chosen. So that's a lot of experience. So what I've studied here in Malaysia and uh, in overseas, more or less the same is that you tend to be more freely. Uh, you can speak more freely. You can be more free. Uh, I mean, you are exposed to a lot more experience when you are abroad compared to when you are in Malaysia. So obviously now, but now our local campus are also given students freedom, freedom of uh, student for mobility, attachment, activities at the universities as well. Okay, that, that's a little bit here and there stories about my party after KYS. Uh, so, so, so it was a, a straightforward one. Okay. Uh, one thing that, again, I want to highlight is that I don't feel so, so, so I did not feel that I've done my very best during my SPM, but somehow I covered it back during my graduate studies. I make sure I finished first degree for, 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 for me to feel that, okay, I have overcome whatever that I've done. So I, I have come back. I regretted that I did not do very well. I wish I could be one of the top, but above average, okay lah. Very chance, uh, so you tak ada, tapi during our batch, the best students was Hanis. Hanis, uh, it's a guy, Hanis. Okay, he was PNB scholars. I think recently he uh, he left PNB and he became a CEO in one of uh, the companies as well. So that's a different pathway. Dia tengok yang mana satu dia. Okay. All right. So I have a great uh, friends who are all over the place. We have several uh, specialists. Doctors, okay, in the group, we have teachers, okay, we have lecturers, we have a lot of people working for government as well, pengarah pengarah. So at my age, those in government have become pengarah pengarah, pengarah ketua pengarah, penolong ketua pengarah, okay, in the government agencies, right? Okay, I'm going to so far. Any questions so far? Anybody want to butt in anything? Should a question, any question? I do not have any, any specific uh, flow for today's talk. Okay, but the flow is just that the, the, the intention of today's talk is that uh, with I aim, the objective of the today's talk is that perhaps I could give you a different orientation on why you should have a strategy for the, your final year of your, uh, before you set for SPM. Okay, especially for those yang sekarang ni masih tak sure how hard, for those who have been working hard, congratulations, I know you're on the right track, just keep on pursuing until the end. But for those who are 
still my mind, my mind, perhaps this is the time for you to sit back and think about it. Okay, I've learned that uh, the committee was taking initiative to do some mentoring session for the students. Wonderful. Congratulations to the committee and congratulations for those who participate as well. Because I think back then, if I do have, a, we have something like that, we would have done better. Okay, with, with this, with these motives, with these initiatives. Okay, so huh, you guys did set for IGCSE, right? Yes. Last year. Okay, who was the best student? Uh, not yet. We're taking it this year. Mm. If you're taking it this year, why not? I got at the form four? I know, form five. Form five, eh? Yes. You were small on form five? Uh -uh. You can form four. Oh, I'm so confused. I thought uh, you, you set it for form four. Okay, why do you need to take as IGCSE and SPM together? Who can answer me that? Why do you think it's important to have both exams? I, I did SPM, I did well, I go to universities. So why did you do IGCSE and SPM as well? Taking IGCSE is like an early exposure for uh, how the overseas exam works, I think. So basically how exams overseas work and how do we have our exams that's not does it differ so much based on IGCSE what have you have learned? A bit. A bit a bit again. We we derive our, our education system derive overseas as well. So what do you think IGCSE and 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 and, and uh, SPM? So you have to look at that again. Okay, I, 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 I sincerely believe that IGCSE was taken at Form 4. Look at KYS, they got Form 5. Got to part Form 4. KYS actually. Can, you can part Form 4, can? So, right. In so, MRSM, they take in Form 4. Uh, MRSM, Form 4, you're, you're right, you're right. So, 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 you guys, so you have double exam, it's okay. But then now, okay, so I have comment okay. but the next question is, I was I, I'm going to ask is that with your ID have anybody any one of you try to apply anywhere because if you have set it during the form four you, you should have applied it somewhere so you can use the results to get into any foundations studies maybe not in Malaysian uh, uh, public universities maybe not because Malaysian public university they're the direct but you can go to, uh, uh, I mean, public university, private universities, you can go to uh, our colleges for have did you try? That was my question next. Like, but since you guys not sit for it, because I know that I have a niece and a few that sat for IGCSC at Form 4. So they already apply and get a place. They was thinking that should I just ditch SPM? So there's no need, I already got my place. So I might just forget about SPM. So in this, just, just a reminder that even though you ditch SPM, if you are interested in going to government service, then you need to see it for July paper. For, I, mean, I mean, you can do that. You get IGCSC, you can start applying. Okay, applying and see where you get. If you're scholars, you're under scholars, then, then, then uh, uh, you have to check with your scholars provider. But if you are your parents' scholarship, that might be a good option. If you can get a place and your parents can fund you, why not? And then, uh, so, but if you want to be in government or certain sectors, then you might want to have a July paper, BM. Just for BM lah. But BM is a requirement if you want to work in government. Yeah, I have a friend uh, which come in. Okay, we all come in with matriculation, blah, 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 blah. She came in with IGCSE. So she entered together with us. I was about 19, she's 16. Same. Then let's start. So now I'm I'm all all the baru muda ceria lagi, okay? So 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 things outside the box, okay? So why are you doing this? So what this can lead to? I hope everybody, before you enroll, you check, okay? Don't simply take it because the school asks you to take it. So what can I do with it? All right? What can I do with it? So um. So which option? So so what are options? So you might afraid that oh nanti tak boleh masuk sini scholarship. Give it a try. You never know. Okay, get your results. Give it a try. Send, send everywhere. Okay, and then and see how feedbacks come back. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to share you a first slide, boleh? Boleh. Alright. Yeah. Nampak benar kan? Nampak tak tersusun? Okay. I even make my own background ni, ha? Huh? Ta-da! So let us, let us just be a casual talk. Sebab, uh, tak best lah idea seorang cakap. Like a mentoring session, okay, you guys just pop up any questions. Okay, Invictus. Nice name. Okay, this is my badge. You have seen it. So, Hanis is sitting on the left. On the left, one, two, three, four, five. Which five people yang kat atas tu? On the left, yang kat atas tu. Handsome guy. A very handsome guy. So, suits the criteria. Tunggu tak? Can you guys see him? Can. Yes. Can. Okay. Ha. So, this, this is the batch. We are very small. So, uh, we basically know each other. Okay. Uh, we rarely, not really rarely, I couldn't remember the last time we met in a group. Uh, I remembered in 2013 in group, big batch. So we did not, we see in small, small, small groups. But even the past few years, Nipun, we did not see each other much. So we are actually currently in the peak of our our career. Most of us at this age. Lah. So probably everybody is busy with their own stuff, blah, 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 blah. But that's always... Uh, we always keep in touch in WhatsApp and call each other. So this is what I'm going to share with you. Okay. So everybody have a closer look. This is Lapura Ringkas Kajian Pekesanan Graduan Tahunan uh, Tahun 2020. So this is from government in, uh, universities. Okay. So just, just to get an idea, I know most of you aim to go overseas. Most of you aims to, uh, to go perhaps in private unis. But this is the current condition in our world, in our, in our country especially. Okay, going to overseas with, with Corona currently going overseas seems a bit dim. Okay, or you may feel face difficulties. You might need to uh, think about options. I know this is for graduate. Okay, this is for graduate, of course. You see, I we are from five. Okay, but you have to remember that uh, whatever you're going to pick after this. Okay, these are the impact. Corona is going to be here. It's going to. It's. It's not going to end very soon, to be honest. Even though if it's end soon, there can be any other diseases, any other virus. So we have to just adapt to accept that the world is changing. Okay. So you, we have to plan accordingly. All right. Okay. Last time aviation. Okay, aviation, aviation uh, sectors. Being a pilot is like. Everyone's dream. So everyone, so I again, macam banyak banyak lah nak 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 jadi pilot stuff. With the current condition, we never expect that this could possibly be happen. And once it happened, the aviation so sector so completely shut down. Okay, now being a pilot is no longer perhaps uh, anyone's dreams because you're afraid that if the same things happen, can the same things the same. Uh, Things will happen to the sectors as well. So even though if you are a pilot, you aim to be a pilot, you need to have a backup plans. Okay? Of, of, of okay, what, what happens next? Because we could expect that things to, to happen again and again. Okay? So this is Lapora Ringkas. We see Jumlah Respondent. So we have uh, more than 1,000. This is for unis only. So when we say about graduate, there is uh, from college vocational, yeah, diploma graduates as well. Again, okay, that goes straight into the sectors. Jumlah respondent is about 100,000. And again, okay, look at the percentage, which job is 59%, half of the whole uh, respondents. Okay, and mind you, bear with you. Uh, bear with me, I agree that sometimes this type of uh, reports are not as accurate because not everybody respond to it, okay? Because the way it was conducted, it could not reach every sector, and this is particularly for public units as well. Okay, uh, but then, but then this is just an idea how it is. Okay, fifty percent. Next slide, and then we look at into subjects bidang penggantian. Okay, so among all all subjects, whether you are in medical, in science, social, pendidikan, so about half of the total graduates. Uh, that upon graduation were employed 
Okay, however, in look at the under health. Okay, under health, you see, menunggu penempatan lebih high lah. Because normally rolling government intakes take some time. So they have a place, it's just that they are not in yet in the system. So they are 21% waiting with a job. Okay, that's, that's a bit uh, lucky with the doctors and the pharmacists and everyone in health at this moment of time. Okay, so you can see this is what is happening now. So a point of, of course, not to worry too much again. Okay? We've seen about 11 recessions, okay, from, from 1950s, 1947 to 2001, that the 11 recession. Recession is where the economic down, okay, and this recession would normally take place around uh, 11 months or so, and then economy will shoot up back. So we are hoping things are going, we are, we are positive that things are going back into normal, but seeing Kita kena be ready that this thing could happen again. Even though it's not near your years, you probably graduate in six years, five years, maybe four years, but your choice now post FPM will affect that four years. Will, will, will be again. The MB career for the next four years. What you choose post or your SPM will be uh, take into account in the next four years. Okay, and what you choose after SPM, it depends on your SPM results. So that's where it comes in. All right, it depends on your SPM results. And then the better you get, all right, the better you get, more choices you have. Okay, the less that you get, you have, a li you have limits your choices. So it's the best at this point that you still have this time. I still remember Mr. Tan talk. One of the good advice Mr. Tan told us when we were in our form four, form five. He was uh, our at math teacher. So he said, think about today, think about that day. Think about that day, the day you'll be sitting for your exams, SPM, and then it reflects back. Have you done enough today to prepare for that day? Okay, so because with SPM results, then you have to cho choose your course and whatever course that you choose then will give an impact after four years post-grad. Again, when you graduate and then it'll be impact. And with this current condition, a very fluctuate here and there, we're not sure where it's heading. So it's better to act now. You see that, okay, this is current graduation uh, scenario. Perhaps it's be different. I hope it'll be different next in the next four or five years. But please, this is now, this is the time for you to take action. Okay, you still have time. You do not want to limit about your choices, okay? So next, okay, the next slide is here. Again, about graduation, tough times for fresh graduates. Okay, we all know it's a tough time. It's not just for graduate, for students, for those still studying because of the online learning, adapting, okay? Uh, because of the gaps, okay, people get access, some people got no access, okay, but, these are the tips of job hunting in 2001, uh, the 10 things that graduate to know. Why is it important to address now? You see, because you need to develop all these skills from now. Okay, that the form 5 need, let's start developing a bit here and there. One thing is your soft skill will be valuable. What does it mean by soft skill? What does it mean by soft skills? Guys. What does it mean by soft skills? Minor, uh, soft minor skills? skills. Guys, soft skills. So, soft soft skills? skills is uh -huh. things like social skills, communication. Okay. Things Again? related to character. Thing related to characters, correct. You have a very good CVs. Okay, you are the president of this club, president of this club, president of this club. But the one that people are evaluating is not the, the, the papers, of course. Of course, the paper will give you some merits, but then they will see how you translate. Okay, they say, okay, I was uh, the president of history club. That's it. Or you have to say, okay. I was the president of a history club, okay, in 1995, okay, we have planned, we have organized, I was the one in charge in organizing a trip to 
Kota Kinabalu or a trip up to Mount Kinabalu. Well, there are a lot of challenges that we feel. Da, 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 da. So the elaboration of the soft skills, which you could explain. What have you developed? So having the whatever qualifications, okay, whatever jawatan that you have is not enough, but you need to be able to portray in your soft skills. All right. So that is very important. So previously, if you are not into these activities, yeah, I know that certain few people so are not into the activities. You concentrate your studies or it just doesn't matter. You need to start. Why? Because you need to develop your soft skills. Yeah, now people are looking into your soft skills. Worse more when you conduct interviews during online interviews. So there are very limits chance or very short time you can show uh, your soft skills okay your your uh, so scholars okay your scholarship providers or even your employer will 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 assess you based on this so during school time with the remaining time that you have the one year left you have to develop these soft skills through doing activities outside school activities some people have passion for their own hobbies Gamers, if you are into games, go ahead. Okay, develop your soft skills through your passions. Okay, so number three, coronavirus will continue. Uh, online events are here to stay. That's true. Now, now people feel that it's easier. Most meetings, most, so you can go for interviews online. So you have to adapt that. You have to accept. You need to be comfortable to go to talk online. Okay, you are, you are more accessible than all right, so coronavirus will continue to have an impact. That's true. Even though people say that, okay, after everybody was vaccinated, uh, we hope that we have overcome this problem, but that's not true. Okay, from the medical healthcare perspective, this will impact us for the next five years. Okay, that's not really looking, kalau ada disease yang baru. Okay, virus are everywhere. So this virus mutates very fast. Okay, they have different different strains. Different different strains have different different strength. So with this, we can expect that it continues. Okay, it's going to continue. All right, there are alternatives to uh, traditional work experience. So how many of you, yeah, uh, during your break of uh, auto, you did have the chance to go for uh, work experience? You you go not really formally informally during school breaks. You attach, you do some, some works, extra works. You work at the bakery or you do websites for companies, private websites. How many of you did that? No? So this is the time. If you think you have a talent, some people draw very well, comics. Okay? Some people doodles very well. So make full use of your doodling. All right, so so you know your friends. I don't like some some people pandai doodles. Anyone like call crazy doodles? Anyone? Tak ada? Ramai, ramai. Come oh, on. ramai. Okay. So, okay, if ramai doodle, ramai doodles. So make sure that okay, whenever there's event, okay, program event batch, nak bagi hadiah-hadiah, jangan beli hadiah kat luar. Doodle it. Put it in the cups, the marks, ke kan? Take your own original idea, put it on marks to give to pictures, apa. Use that talent that you have among your members. Okay, that's about doodling. Whoever like paintings. Cik Gatun punya anak ada? I'm not sure if Cik Gatun is still around. Is she around? Yes. Cik Gatun? Yeah. Okay. Yes, she is. She is. So, so who's his best student? You see the other seorang. Shafiq good. Shafiq? Which Shafiq? Our Shafiq. batch leader. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, then make full use. Okay, if you have a talent, you have to work it from now. Okay, think about how it can be useful for yourself and also for others. Okay, if you like baking, you can start bakes now. I mean, last year when we were truly at home, okay, you should have, we should have done something that could expand our hobby into, into something more. Okay, I'm going to lead to entrepreneurship later on. But, but if you have hobbies, I, I, I truly strongly suggest you that you should go and put it all out. Take into, think about how you can make your hobby into a business or how make your hobby into benefiting others as well. 
gamers. Okay, gamers. This season memang tak boleh cakap lah. Gamers. Any gamers strong, hardcore gamers? Ramai. Ramai. Okay, make sure you go for competition. Don't just game kat sini, boleh jam, 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 jam kat rumah gamers je kan. So, be, be, go for specific competition. You can google up, make sure you, so dalam you punya CV you can see, okay. I'm, I'm, you can be proud of it rather than you say gamers tapi malu-malu. I'm a gamers, I've attended game apa, competition this, 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 even though you did not win, but we see. Passion is something that, that is good, that everybody want to see passion in someone. A good passion, of course. Okay, come passion and lain-lain susah pula. Okay, another more, another thing. Okay, gamers lagi apa? Yang pelik-pelik hobi budak-budak sekarang ni. Ah, okay. Uh, influencer, YouTubers. Anyone? Izrin, Izrin. Harbina. Harbina. I I need to Google up these people and see. Okay, YouTuber. Okay, that's good. I mean, I mean, in a good way. Okay, it's good. It, it can benefit you. I have one students. Uh, she's going to go for interview in one of the GLC companies, okay, uh, pharma company. So we have a lot of, a lot of, uh, we have a lot of candidates. Like they have a lot of candidates. I was there as well. So she was thinking, how could she uh, put herself different from the others? So basically, she is this is Chinese girl, okay. She have uh, followers, okay, YouTube followers of thousands. I'm not sure how many thousands, but thousands. Yeah, what she did, she was basically like um, uh, recording her her studies life. Okay, she was recording her projects when she go abroad for mobility study. She records so so she doc documented all these things. So with that, she got followers. So when she went to the interview, so you need to really highlight about yourself. What's different? Because all the other candidates are just excellent as possible. So she said, I have a YouTube account of how many followers. So you can make full use of me. She was saying this to the, we were suggesting this and she used it to the uh, CEO. You can use me as part of the promotion. I can always promote because she has a follower. She can promote because Glow Pharma, they produce uh, Flavets. I'm not sure if you guys know Glow, Flavets, Glow, the vitamin C that drops into the water and pssst. Okay, so she was saying you can get free advertisement through me. I have a followers. So, so that's how she market herself with YouTube account. So that's a possibility as well. Don't be afraid to you. If you have passion to do it, then, then you can just uh, tell the others that this is this is a great thing. Okay? Now, if you do not have a niche, we call it a niche like that. So perhaps we want to start thinking about that. What will make you stand out? What will make you different from the others? These are the criteria that you should be developing from now. From now. That's why I'm saying it here. Masa SPM ni sebelum, oh, studies is studies. Well, you can't be studying 24-7, right? You're doing something else. So, so you have to think about something. What will make you different? And you can start doing it from now. Okay? So what else here? Make yourself stand out through your applications. Okay? Employers are assessing candidates. These are employers. Why is it important for me to say it now? Because... Even though employers were seeking for this, you need to develop it from now. All these skills, kena buat dari sekarang. Okay? If you see that okay, in, in, in our journey, these are learning process. Okay? If you feel that your English is not as good as the others, this is the time for you to keep on practicing, to keep on learning. Okay? There's a lot of Toastmasters Club, uh, Orators Club okay, that you can join in and participate. So do something for yourself. Some people are fortunate because they were born with the language. Okay, even though they don't pull up, mommy, don't check out. Hello, baby. How are you now? But others may not be. You see, all right. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all a learning process, especially for the guys. All right. Some guys are a little bit not a reserve themselves. Okay, they are a bit reserve. So go ahead, guys. Okay, find find a niche and go uh, having a good uh. Speaking uh, good skills, orator skills is important. That is number one sellable items and you have a long way to practice. Okay, when you're able to speak well, so I think that's the advantage of KYS students because you guys are able to speak well. So you are five steps ahead from the others because of your speaking ability. So for those in the cohort who feel that they are a bit less, so when I was in KYS, I feel that I'm a bit less. I do not bond with the language. 
So uh, it comes uh, through learning, through practice. Okay. Uh, so this is, so if, if any of you that feel the same like me, so this is the time for you to practice and continue practicing. Seek ways. Okay, kita tak dilahirkan untuk terus-terus bagus in something, but we have to practice that. Okay. So everyone has a different idea of what they are looking for and what they need. Same. I threw out one question to the whole committee group on the, our last meeting earlier. I said, why do you feel that it's important? Why do you take this initiative to mentor the weaker students? What they call the weaker, but, but not what they call what, what I just term it as the weaker, but they are not weaker. I think your guys are brilliant. Okay. Why, why do you need to mentor this? So if the students have uh, realized that they need to work hard, so they will work hard. If they do not want to work hard, let them be. Okay, because everyone have a different idea about what they are looking for. At form five, I think you guys dah, dah, fik, dah boleh fikir. You know what's good, what's not good for yourself. Right, I mentioned, I asked the group or the, 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 the panel, your guys, okay? Your, your panels of friends, why do you need, why is it important for you to make sure that everybody works together? to achieve a good result. So because she said that, okay, one of the answers that I like because there's still time for us to do something. We want everybody to be a part, to a success together. Okay, that's a very, very noble initiative. That's a very good initiative for both. Okay, for those who are helping out and for those who get help. Okay, there's, let's work together. Into, even though you may have a different idea of, of what you want in life, you see. Um, but then with a good result, definitely you have more options. Once your result is not so good, again, okay, the lower it is, so the smaller your options be, especially at these limits of time. Okay, and, and also you with that good results, you can always reassess your option. Okay, kalau you rasa this time you're not this thing, you're not this thing, this thing with good result, you'll be able to get all three. But you know when your good result is not good, then you have to take whatever left, whatever you have. Betul tak? So whether the upper one or the lower one, let's go for the upper one because you want to have three or four offers compared to you have one and that is even not what the one that you're looking for, but you have no option. So, so, so just think about it. You still have time. Think about that day. Think about today. All right. Okay, who among you guys that uh, feels exam is not important? Exams are not important. Do you, ex okay, okay, rephrase, okay, exams are important. Uh, who among you that said that, okay, exams does not really determine what will happen in life? Macam itulah. Exams does not really determine whether you get, you get good jobs or not a good job. Our exams does not really direct you. It's not really direct you. Uh, but uh, exams does not really correlated, correlate with your job opportunity. Who sincerely think that? Doctor, there are some people who raise their hand. In okay, okay. Adam. Adam, yes. Harry. Yes. I saw you. Okay, okay. So, so why do you think that, Adam? You mentioned reading. Uh, all right. So the reason I think this, mm -hmm. it's nothing complicated. It's just more I've seen it happen. Mm -hmm. So my father, mm -hmm. he, uh, in university, he took applied physics. Okay. Yeah, in university, he took applied physics. However, now his job is completely unrelated to physics and is actually in business. And with his job, he's actually able to support the entire family, which is, I mean, all, all six of us, my mom and my three other siblings. So that one, that is the main reason. It's just because I've seen it happen where someone who studied physics and then instead in the end got a job that has no relation at all to physics. That's great. That's true. But I, uh, Adam, I have a question again. Yes. Okay, consequences of that. But but I'm sure uh, he did well during his studies, right? Not really. His SPM was so-so. So, but he managed, okay? He managed, he passed all. But it wasn't like something like straight A's. No, it was just 
some A, some B, some C. So, so, so it was similar in my in my in my in my boat. So he was de definitely in my boat, except for maybe I do not have some C's. <laughs> so, so it's a similar. All right. Okay. Yes. With Adam, I have to agree with him. I I'm, I'm I truly agree that uh, education does not really reflect on what we do or what we achieve in life later on. Not hundred percent. Okay. But then what you get through education, what you get through the systems. Okay. You have something that you want. You work hard for it. Okay, these are the things that we want to put in the education system. You want good results, you have to work for it. Okay, you have to plan. Okay, the 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 uh, the, the the usefulness of having a strategy and studying. Okay, uh, uh, having a proper planning, having determination, persistence. I'm sure Adam's uh, dad have a lot of persistence. Okay, looking at the current students that I'm looking, they are all lack of persistence. Okay, the sendiri tak boleh, marah sikit, merajuk. Okay, you can, you try one time, second time, third time, then that's it. No more trying, okay? So the persistence, especially in PhD. When you're doing in PhD, then you're always at the top, you're always at the bottom compared. Okay, you're not always at the top, your, your results is good, whatever you want to achieve, you achieve, your timeline is great, no. Most of the time, 70%, 80% of the time, you're at the top. Everything turns out completely wrong. But then you just have to be persistent and go through it, repeat, blah, blah, blah. If you look at the statistic of PhD, normally, uh, girls success better compared to boys. Okay, boys have this uh, fed up. Attitude, kan? Dalam lama, ah, fed up. Uh, like that. Okay. So, so you look at the, based on the scholarship assessment, uh, especially in Malaysia, so I do not have a global data. So there's a lot of more dropouts, male dropouts compared to female dropouts. I would believe it linked to persistence. So in our education system, in yang kita nak terapkan, you need to be persistent, okay? You need to be persistent, you need to plan, you need to strategy, strategize. In the end, whatever you got, in the end, it doesn't matter. People have different shapes of brain, size of brains, or absorb, okay? The ability to absorb, stop. That's, I, I tend to understand that now. It doesn't mean that you learn at that point. There will be a point that you study so bad, but you think, oh, kawan, you relax there. Yeah? And she scored better, okay? So, so people have different uh, capability, but then, you, these are the, the, the attributes that you want to gain through education. All right, you have you need to have that. That's true. from my graduate. When I graduated, okay, there were small numbers of us, but three of us ventured uh, into academics. Okay, at different different uh, stages. Okay, some go for masters, you know, or go for PhDs, blah 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 blah. So we have one of the best students. Okay, uh, and then I'm in the middle. Somewhere up, somewhere top, okay, and then we have those in the low, lower. Uh, we have one that graduate with two point nine pointer, also join academy at other institutions, okay. So kita ada lah three level lah. We say that um, the best, moderates, and slightly low. So all three of us went into academics, pursue our postgrad degrees. So we pursue when we came back, is the third one, that flourish more, okay. The third one, okay. That, that that proceeds in further, faster in her career compared to the other two. Okay, the best one was still struggling, okay, to get grants, to go from one institution to the others. Okay, so life is like a, 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 a circle, okay? So it rotates, sometimes we are at the top, sometimes we are at the bottom. It's just that what we drain to the edu education, what we embed into ourselves, through the trainings that is important. Okay, this is what uh, we're trying to get into our education systems. All right, okay, now, because of the difficulties, time, tough times for the fresh grads with a lot of hurdles, we can expect this going on for a couple of years. So most of universities, most of the universities locally abroad, okay, focusing on entrepreneurship, entrepreneur, entrepreneur mindset. So you guys familiar with entrepreneurship, right? Entrepreneurs, okay, those are the startups company, the CEOs, 
Okay, so basically who are the entrepreneurs? These are the people who like to work to be their own boss, pursue their own ideas and uh, realize financial rewards, lah, basically. So why do people have a desire to become entrepreneurs? Because they want to be independent. Jika apa lah kerja government, dapat gaji tiap bulan, dapat gaji tiap bulan, eh, dapat gaji kan? So what? Okay, ability to fulfill personal goals, okay, potential financial opportunities, and because of family methods, they say that by having your own business, you'll be able to spend more time with your family. Yeah, okay, is that true? I thought by having your own business, you have to spend more time with your business. Okay, because you are managing all of it. Okay, why is it important now? Again, because of the characteristics that are associated with entrepreneurship. So you have to be persistent, you have to be creative, you have to be responsible, inquisitive, motivation and passion. And also you, have, you need to have relevant skills and expertise. And this need to be built up from now. Okay, you need to have a little bit of entrepreneurship in you. All right, even though you aim to be a professional, doctors, surgeons, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you need to have a little bit of entrepreneurship skills inside you. And these are the characters that you need to build up from now. Okay, for those who have, again, for those who have special abilities to do certain things, go ahead, proceed. You love baking, you bake nice cakes. Take some time, so whenever you have time, post SPM to go and try to market it. Okay, for those who are using Instagram, you YouTube, then perhaps you can get a products and try to promote that products. Okay, and see how it works. All right, influencer. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps you you know now there's a lot of doorship for experience. Okay, doorship experience. You take some products of certain brands, so you do you get a doorship experience. So this this is something that you can do at home. Uh, and to, to get an experience. And this is something that you can explain more. Okay? For example, when you have an interview, so these are the things. So I used to be a dropship or the company, blah, 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 blah. So, so we sell this thing, this thing, these things. Okay. So with this, uh, I've sold my biggest, my biggest sales range is 2,000 2, you know, to 3,000 while doing my Form 5 studies and blah, 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 blah. So these are the things that will make you different from the others, apart from studying, okay? The, why I mention it here is because, again, with these characteristics need to be embedded in yourself, need to build up. You need to have a little bit of these characteristics in you throughout and start developing it from now if you haven't got it before, okay? So that's it. Now, I'm going to hari ini. So, so what's important, again, this up, I'm just trying to scare you, okay, giving you the numbers that there's uh, people with less jobs, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm just, just scare you. Come on, I'm not scaring you. I know you're the top, a different level, but uh, things need to be, you need to just look at these numbers and ponder upon it. Okay, uh, again, I would like to highlight that you want to have a lot of choices and not just end up with one choice. And you know, when you want to have a lot of choices, you need to be among the top. Barulah ada dua tiga offer, then you can choose. But if you uh, are scoring lower, you have limited choices. Or you have to make difficult choice. Okay? So you are currently at the best institution. Make full use of, of your time. Oh, there's one more thing that I need to say. Okay, later on. Uh, make full use of your time and, and, and work together to achieve. Okay, when we come to work together, there's one thing uh, that I would like to share here. Okay, that's me and my batch. Ta-da! So we have expand so big. Basically, one of us, uh, I mean, each one of us have at least two or three kids. So this was back in 2013 or 14. When we last met, sekarang ni kau jumpa lagi. Penuh. Okay, because everybody have at least three or four kids. Okay, so uh, let's say about, I would like to include a bit about batch unity. Uh, well, when we talk about batch unity, it doesn't mean that uh, you have to like everybody or everybody need to likes you. Come on, be realistic. Not everybody likes you, it's okay. And you can't really like, you don't really like everybody. You don't need to, okay? Be, uh, be togetherness is, just means that you support each other in each condition, in whatever condition. For example, 
when you have an activities, then everybody supports the activities by the group. Let's say if you are part of a leader, okay, then be a good leader by including everybody into your programs. Okay, I know even you are a group, you are a leader. Sometimes we are a leader, we have our own team. So we tend to go about with our own team. So and ignoring the rest. So that is not good. Open up your team, include others as well, especially in a big group like this. Okay, uh, or we are not, uh, we are part of the participants. So you know, when we are not lead, then we be a good spot as part of the participants. Okay, we, we accept, we participate, and then oh, dear, I'm what my last not join. Okay, that, that wouldn't be good. I mean, in any systems, okay, that's what, what we meant by uh, unity, batch unity. We have a relationship that is close, of course. Uh, we mean that we support each other in everything that you do. So you know what's the importance of the school tie? We have Kaiser necktie, Kaiser scarf. Okay, when you go for interviews, big interviews, company-based interview, make sure you wear your school ties. Because people will recognize you from far. You are networking with our ties, you see? They say, oh, okay, okay, well, you gain extra, much, much more extra points with that. Okay? So, of course, when I met the Kaiser, perhaps one of my students are Kaiser, so definitely he or she will be five, six, seven steps further compared to the others in advance, okay, closer to me. All right, so, so but unity is important. It doesn't mean that you need to like everybody, everybody needs to like you, no. It's just that means support each other in each program, participate, okay, open up, uh, so that uh, you can work together to achieve uh, the objective that you have set for the whole group. Okay, continue networking. You are going to be big bosses to each company. Each one of you are going to be separately, but I'm sure big bosses in each companies, whereby in the future you're going to network. And this brotherhood and sisterhood that you have now, okay, will link you, will make your bond further when you meet later at the later stage of your life. Okay, all right, and lastly, okay, these are my mantra. I always believe in these three things. First, be mindful, okay, do not hurt each other with your words, okay. This world is already so cruel, we never know what other people have in their own shoes, okay. So, some people may have six, uh, six family members, that they have to care about so be always always be mindful so before you assume learn the fact before you judge understand why before you hurt someone feel first okay and before you speak think if you have nothing kind to speak do not talk at all always always be mindful be different okay this is what i meant by uh when everybody was going for uh attachment hospital attachment and get into the hospital system, I took a different route. Okay, that helps me to propel faster compared to the others. Okay, so the person who follow the crowd will usually go further, will not go further. Okay, the person who walks alone, huh, in no one has ever seen before. Okay, okay, be different. You need to choose a different path. Okay, think, think slightly outside the box. Okay, these are the common routes. So perhaps you want to try something else slightly better. Don't be afraid. Sometimes students are so afraid to apply to Oxford, to Cambridge. Rasa macam tak, tak layak. But actually, it's not so difficult to get into Oxford and Cambridge. Okay, give it a try. Do your best. Write a nice, because they require, normally they will require an AC from you. So that AC is impactful. Okay, all right. And then uh, last but not least, be purposeful. Okay, our creation in this life have own, their own purpose. So at this age, I'm, I'm not sure about you, but I'm sure you, uh, with me and your parents, we realize that uh, what we get now is not for us. Okay, whatever we spend, uh, it'd be more meaningful if we can spend it on other people. Okay, the, the more we give, the more happy we are. So be purposeful in case where you could not spend, but uh, you, there's a lot of other ways that you can be purposeful towards your teachers, to your surroundings, to your own friends. All right, make sure you have a purpose in life. 
Okay. That's the end of my four, five slides. Any questions that you'd like to shoot, uh, please do so. Okay. Wow, such an inspiring and info-worthy speech given a moment ago. Doesn't everyone agree? Ini eh, nampak benar teks. Yes. yes. Nampak benar teks dia. Very fixed text, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you, doctor. But anyone who would like to ask questions can open your mic or type in the chat box. I will read it for you. Yeah. Oh, okay, I did not touch. Do you have couples in the group? Ada? Ha, yang couples-couples ni? Okay, there how... probably are some, but oh, they're that's... too afraid to admit it. <laughs> of course, they will not admit it, but I know there is. So, so okay, but out of the batch, in my batch, we have two couples. We have two married couples. We have two couples in the in the batch. Okay, yang kawin sama. But those were not from high school. I don't know from where they come. So, so we have uh, one divorced couple in the whole batch. We have one married to another batch. So that's is it. Okay. It's okay at this, I think at this stage, it's okay to have partner. You, 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 of course, with the hormonal changes, this is, this is timely, timely. Boleh tak? Timely, timely lah. Okay. It's just that make sure it directs you to the right way. Right. Make sure you'll be able to influence each other to be a better person, to be a better student. Okay. Boyfriends do not cause your girlfriend headaches, headaches do not, eh, headaches, but girlfriend do not do otherwise. Okay, the focus now is to influence each other, to motivate each other, to do, to focus more in studies, to, to, to do well in exams. Okay, avoid any conflicts, avoid anything, so that you can focus more in studies. And this year, kan, this is the final year, so that one can hold back for a moment. Okay, and do not involve in any not so good activities. Okay, all right. Between couples, not so good because ini akan to this will hinder you from going getting the knowledge. All right, so 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 go back, concentrate. So aims for the next few months. There's only few months left. You like to be more focused. Okay, all right. So I think I need to say that. Because a lot of the dakwah as well lah. Ustazah lah katakan. Okay, any question? I think Sophia would like to ask a question. Yes, Sophia. Okay, hi doctor. I'm so sorry my camera is broken. But I have a question here. Um, As a leader, I mean you have been a leader in school and also outside of school at work and so on. So as a leader, how do you make sure that your team and you are always aligned with the same mission and vision. Thank you. Okay, that's a good question. Thank you, Sophia. How do you make sure that everybody is aligned? Okay. Uh, they, for me, there are a few strategies that you can, uh, you can use. Okay. Um, the hard truth. The hard truth is that sometimes when there's a new leader, okay, uh, when there's a new leader, so this, macam, if you observe in our political system, you have a new PM. So, semua orang dia tukar. Ketua, city user for each ministry, blah, 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 will all be changed into, uh, the, into their, their own people, to the new leaders people. Why? Because it was said that this will make it easy. Uh, so that everybody have the same line. Okay, everybody will understand the same objective because if you should stay there, um, there might be some conflicts, okay? So you get all your people on board so that you can proceed further easily. But somehow I don't feel that this can, uh, this is a, a right strategy. Sometimes it can be a slightly destructive. One, one of the way is that uh, to set, okay? To set your aims, your objective. Well, something that is, you think you did not, you think as a group. Okay, set your objective. So you have you and you have your people, your new committees. Or, so you have, you set your own objective collectively based on the need of the people. Sometimes a leader, they set objective based on uh, their own perspective. Okay, so that is why that other, some, some people, part of the committee will feel left out. 
because it feels that okay they're not part of it so once you include everybody in your system you get feedback from them you have to make them feel part of the team so they will become a good team players all right you have to be closer to them okay the further the further this set of groups okay we, perhaps you have a group of your uh, people that you're managing Mesti ada yang the further, yang jauh sikit. Okay, the, the one that feel a bit reluctant to work together with you. So, these are the people that you need to approach softly in order to get, to understand, okay, what what are their conflicts, what is the conflicts, okay, to get them on board with you. I would believe that you need to use a soft approach. You need to go and see individually and understand their needs and together sets the same objective so that uh, you get to work together. I hope that answers you, Sophia. A little bit. Yes, thank you so much, Doctor. Hi. Hi. I have a question. Yes. Okay, uh, would you consider it to be better if we had many different kinds of friends or one close friend? Okay, all right. So it depends on what type of person you are, I guess. Hmm. There are some people uh, who cannot stand one type of one, one close friend. Uh, there are some people who could not work without a close friend. I guess it all depends on yourself, uh, on, on your preference. So uh, someone like me, I uh, could not stick to one person. Bukan could not stick to one person. I would not want to have someone sticking to me. I will not want to sweat, sama-sama siap, pergi jalan. So, so I'm not that type of person. So it depends on what you want. It depends on what type of person you are. I think by now at this age, you should know whether you prefer to have one specific BFF, uh, you like to have a gang of everything. Okay, so which type are you, Zachary? Are you the, the, the BFF type or the gang type? The FF type. Oh, okay, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, if you're BFF or, or the gang type. Okay, it's so all you have to ask yourself and see. And, and you need to belong to the right gang. Okay, sometimes those young BFF, uh, uh, there, there's only, also a loner. Okay, that's a loner type. Uh, the BFF, tak ada gang pun. Relax, yeah, those are the ones that sit things on their own. Uh, in Starbucks, minum sesorang. Good, the loner type sometimes. So there's nothing wrong with that as well. So you campak to anywhere, you can just six and mix around. Okay, you ask yourself which one you feel comfortable with. There's nothing, there's no superior than the others. Okay, thank you. That answers my question. Thank you, Zachary. Are you ready to do it? Uh, I have a question. Yes. So I'm going to read my question. Uh, okay, seeing your personality as a free spirit person, what tips would you give to stay as enthusiastic and positive like you, regardless of, uh, for example, being in hard time? Yeah, I like okay. you. <laughs> Sorry? I like how you're so enthusiastic in everything you do. Okay, thank you. You just met me in the screen face. Eh? <laughs> First thing is you really need to do what you like to do. For me, I really love to go to, 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 to be with the students. Yeah, I mean, my students, my own, my, my, my own students, so you are like my brothers and sisters as well. Okay, you really need to be to, to, to be in an environment that you like. Then you feel like free spirited. Okay, and I think I'm in the right career uh, that I like. Okay, I do not want nine to five job. So, uh, yeah, I do not want nine to five job. Now I have 24 seven jobs. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, I have freedom towards my academic uh, strategy and my, my, my assessments, my everything. So, so, I think I've chosen the right career for me at this moment of time. Uh, so my first point is that you need to be in the environment that, that, that you feel that you like lah, in order for you to feel fulfilled. Yeah. So you need to do things that you like. So uh, another thing is, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, you just need uh, to, to be, kan kata kan cakap kan macam, macam nak cakap puji diri sendiri pula. <laughs> 
so so it doesn't it doesn't look right but when you do certain things you just uh, need to do it full heartedly so again uh, i'm here not uh, being paid again i'm i'm here based on voluntary basis just because i feel that uh, it's something uh, I, I feel that I could ban be beneficial to you guys. You guys can get something from me or if you guys need to my help in the future. So you have another venture, uh, uh, other your counselors, your teachers, your parents, of course. So maybe kalau tak ada, tak ada habis orang lagi. Oh, suddenly I may pop up in your mind. Okay, maybe you can give me a chance to help you with whatever you are, you are dealing with. Okay, so, so you just need to do things uh, wholeheartedly. So, uh, and, and it must be things that you like. So, I wouldn't mind. See, I, we plan to finish at 11. No, it's 11.22. Sorry, guys. I took up so much of your time. <laughs> okay. So, it's just that uh, if you feel that, uh, I'm not sure whether it's this session is a good session or not. But perhaps if it's not, then it's okay. Uh, if it's good, perhaps you want to request another session over a specific topic, then you can just have uh, an interactions like this. I've seen your semalam uh, Shafiq was saying that you have a YouTube videos, so I browse through lah. Tengok, okay. Well, you had a similar similar type of talk. Uh, again, I mean session with other speakers in January. So there was a doctor something from UKM. I did not know her. I'm going to find her later on. And then uh, there was again, like, macam alamat. So schema ni. So am I supposed to be? No, no, no. I'm going to do another approach. Again, more free hands and more question and answers. So it may benefit to certain group of people, it may not, okay? Some people will say that nonsense, okay? Some people will find that it's a little bit bang into their head, so, so, so that's good enough, okay? So back to the questions, uh, you have to do something that you like uh, and do it wholeheartedly. All right, any other questions? Uh, I think we are running out of time. So. Yeah. Anyone else have any questions can just um, PM uh, Dr. Mazina later and then we will also share the answers via Invixis Instagram. No, so no. without further ado, I would like to invite Shafiq as our batch leader to give a closing speech. Thank you so much Invixis. Oh, I, I, oh, cho, 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 I, I'll be checking again, again. Tengok, see? So, so I was looking at the videos on Invixis too. So that's one lady. Siapa yang suara tu? Invixus, is it now or never? Can okay. is that what she said? <laughs> it's Kasha, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> oh, husky and so nice. <laughs> All right, thank you. Back to you, Shafiq. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, uh, thank you, Nazia. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning to, to Dr. and the other member of Invixus. Uh, not too much from me, but on behalf of, on behalf of Invixus, I would like to thank Dr. Mazina for her time today. Uh, we do appreciate you coming to this session with us and we're surely going to make the most out of it. Uh, and not to forget the member of Invixus uh, as well. Thank you for coming. Uh, InsyaAllah, if ada rezeki, maybe who knows, kita boleh buat face-to-face -face session uh, kat sekolah nanti. InsyaAllah. Okay. And yeah, after all, Thank you for attending everyone and have a nice one week break and see you guys at school. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See, uh, welcome back to school next week. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Bye-bye. Thank you.